I know what you're thinking. Christina, what are your feelings about period cups? I've stuck a lot of things in my hoo-ha, and by far my favorite has been the Lunette period cup. To insert the Lunette cup, all you gotta do is turn it into a big old smiley face right there. And whoop! Once it's inside of your body, then it expands like this, and your period blood just drip, drip, drip. A lot of you sent me some questions about the Lunette Cup that I never really thought of. Uh, and my favorite one was, how do you take the cup out without splattering blood all over the wall? That's, that's a legit question. When you're taking it out, you don't just yank on this a uh, little tail. You actually have to put your fingers up and squeeze like that and it releases the pressure and then you can take it out super easy like that. If making the bathroom look like a murder scene is a worry of yours, I highly recommend just taking a squat over the toilet and just going bleh, just right, right in there. But here's my number one piece of advice when it comes to the Lunette Cup. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. I started using the Lunette Cup about a year ago and it took me a couple cycles to get used. So the ins and outs, literally the ins and the outs, the insertions and the insertions of the Lunette Cup. Another very reasonable question that I get a lot is why do you prefer the Lunette Cup over pads and tampons? You know what? I don't really have anything against pads or tampons. I mean, I'm a modern woman and I grew up sticking cotton up my vajay. And you know, that was fine for a long time, but the Lunette cup is made out of magical silicone. Magic. It doesn't absorb anything. So it's not like sucking up on my lady juices. It's just catching the period gunk. And I do mean gunk. Another question I got was, is it disturbing? Like what's coming out of there? And it's not disturbing. I mean, it is like the part in Alien when the alien busts out of Sigourney Weaver, you know, lots of chunks, lots of unexpected chunks. I didn't get any questions about this, but I do wanna share that I've gotten to know my body so well Cause you know, you don't usually just like stick your whole hand up your vagina. Or at least I didn't before I started using a Lunette cup. A lot of you have been asking, how do you clean a Lunette cup? Well, it's pretty easy. They actually make an amazing natural soap. It doesn't have any like weird chemicals in it. Just like eucalyptus and like, oh God, it actually smells really good. I kind of want to use it as my perfume. Sometimes I just use that with some water. Works really great. Or they make these cup wipes. Burr, 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 burr. Cup wipes. These are really good for if you're like at the mall or at school or whatever. And you just want to empty your period cup, wash it out, and then stick it right back up there. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna... <laughs> if you're not using the Lunette wipes or the special magical Lunette soap, you can boil your period cup. Like an e witch queen boiling her special potions. All you do is boil some water, pop the lunette cup in there, leave it for about five minutes, obviously wash the pot, and then you're all ready to go. Oh, this is a really good question that I actually had before switching to the menstrual cup life. Can you feel it? Do you remember the first time you put in a tampon? Maybe you were in a shower while all of your eighth grade friends were cheering you on from outside the bathroom door because you were about to go to a school dance and you just kind of shoved it in there and hoped for the best. And yeah, you felt it, but then as you, you know, walked around, you were like, oh, never mind. And then a couple hours later, you were dancing with Tommy Tagani at the dance and you were like, oh, I forgot I was even like wearing a tampon. Or is that just me? That sensation of when you put a tampon in and at first you're like, oh, this is a little weird, but then it disappears. That's how it feels when you put a Lunette cup in correctly. So you might feel it 
a little bit at first, especially because, you know, it's a foreign object in the most sensitive part of your body. But once it gets settled, you shouldn't feel anything. You can keep this little puppy in for 12 hours and they have two sizes. The size one is for a lighter flow. Personally, I'm a bleeder. I, I use the number two. Don't you make any poop jokes at me, how dare you? I can keep it in for the whole day rather than planning my lunch break around changing my tampon or like excusing myself from a meeting because I had a weird fart and I'm not sure if I'm, you know, bleeding on my pants or anything like that. Yes, you can sleep in it. You can eat in it. You can swim in it. It's very exciting. There's no like stringy hanging out of your bathing suit. We all know that feeling. A little stringy being like, hey everybody. It's a natural part of life to have your period, but I'm just here to embarrass you. Hi. Truly, the Luna Cup and I are very intimate. It spends a lot more time inside of me than literally anything else. And uh, maybe this is TMI. <laughs> But I do have an IUD and the Lunette Cup was great. You can totally use it when you have an IUD. Obviously check with your doctor to make sure it's right for you, but it's definitely right for me and I'm very happy about it and I hope you're happy for us too. I'm not gonna kiss you right now. You, it's too much. Okay, fine.